some elastic bodies will deform in one direction when subjected to a force with a different direction. How can we solve those problems? Let me first show you the demonstration. While in the air, the force of gravity is indeed deforming it, but the deformity is so small we ignore it for simple cases like this. However, if it is big, then we have to use texture calculus in order to account for its effect. What we do is we convert the force vector into the deformation vector using a second order tensor K, which will convert this force vector to our tensor vector. Not a tensor vector, a deformation vector. With the equation uh, F equals K of X, where X is a displacement vector. And this can be rewritten as a K of alpha x1, or when the displacement vector is in one direction, plus beta x2, when the displacement vector is in a second direction, and where alpha and beta are random constants.